In this video, we will show you how to replace your AC condenser on this Dodge Ram. This will be mounted directly to the front of your vehicle. Let's get into it. All right, friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you need to do is have a professional evacuate the AC system. There is refrigerant in it and it's under pressure. Once you have the AC refrigerant evacuated, we're going to continue on to disconnecting the two lines. We'll start up along the top here. For this, you'll find that you have a 13 millimeter nut that you can remove and then we'll slide this line out of place. A quick note, when you're evacuating the AC system, there is always the possibility there's still a little bit of pressure in here. We'll use a 13 millimeter and loosen this right up. Inspect the mounting hardware. We'll set that aside. Take hold of the line. We'll give it a little wiggle to separate this. There we are. Now we can make our way right down along this area. For this, we'll take hold of the clip, give it a little wiggle and separate that. We're going to be reusing this, so we'll set it aside. Now that we have the locking clip out of there, we're going to have to use a disconnect tool. It looks like this. It's going to slide directly over the bottom part of the line here, and then we'll lift it up and into this area. Inside of this grooved area, there's a small spring, which is holding this line in place. So by sliding the tool in there, we'll be sliding the spring away from the line, and then we should be able to lift this up and out. Let's press it up, give this a little wiggle, and now I'll start lifting this up and off. There we are. Once you have both lines disconnected, we'll move along to our two 10 millimeter headed mounting bolts. You'll have one towards the passenger side of the condenser and one up along the driver's side of the condenser. We'll remove the pair. Inspect that hardware and set it aside. Now we can take hold of that AC condenser and we'll lift it up and out of the vehicle. There it is, friends. Now we can prepare our brand new AC condenser for installation. You'll find up along what would be considered the top port, you have a small plug here and that's held in place with a bolt that you can either use a 13 millimeter or a Phillips head. Let's get this out of here. Now that we have that removed, we'll leave the plug in here for now and continue on with the mounting stud right in here. To install this stud, you'll find up along the top of it, you have a specific area that you can use an inverted Torx, an E7. I'll start this in by hand so I'm sure it's not cross-threading in, and then we'll snug it up. Once that's bottomed out, we'll just bring it a little bit further just to make sure that it's nice and snug. Now we can get this in the vehicle. To install the AC condenser, we want to look down along the bottom of the new condenser. You'll find that you have two mounting points, one here and one right over here. Looking down into this area of the vehicle, you're going to find that you have two holes. We'll get this aligned and slide it down into the proper position. Double check, make sure it's seated properly. Now we can start in each of our two mounting bolts up along the top. Snug them up. Torque each of these to 95 inch pounds. Once you're sure the AC condenser is mounted properly, we'll continue on to each of the two lines. As for this lower line, you'll find that you have two gaskets. It's always a good idea to replace these. So to replace them, I'll just use a small pick, get underneath it, and we'll pull it right out of place. We'll do the same to the other one that's on the same line. Now that I matched up two brand new gaskets, 
I'll continue on by lubricating each of them with some PAG oil. That's the refrigerant oil. Now we can slide each of these into place. Get right on that line. This can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Want to be careful not to drop it in dirt. proper place here. Double check to make sure the gaskets are well lubricated and clean. Now we can replace the gasket on the upper line as well. Same process. Use a small pick. We'll pull this out of place, compare it to a new one, and replace it. Now that I found a nice new one, I'll make sure that I lubricate it with that clean pag oil. And we'll put that right onto the line. Slides right on there. Now that I've replaced all the gaskets, we'll continue on by opening up this lower port. There's just a little plug in here. Continue on adding one ounce of pag oil directly into this port. I have it pre-measured. Put it right in there. Now that we've added our PAG oil to this, we'll continue on by reinserting our line. You want to press it down and listen for a click. Once you've done that, we'll take hold of it and try lifting it up and out of there. Make sure it's secure. Now that we have the lower line in there, let's continue on up along the top here. We'll take this and put it in position, sliding it directly into the AC condenser. Start on that mounting nut. We'll snug it up and then we'll torque it to 180 inch pounds. Double check to make sure that's nice and tight. Let's get our locking clip on here. Slides right in. Okay friends, we fully installed our AC condenser in our vehicle. At this point, you want to have a trained professional refill the refrigerant. They're going to use R134A and approximately 1.875 pounds of it. Aside from that, take your vehicle for a road test and test out that air conditioning. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.